G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up what's called a video magnifier. Exactly what it probably sounds like. And this one, the dilemma that it's got is the charging port on it, I suspect, is damaged. And I want to open it up to check the pin connection to make sure that it's okay. The customer leaves it on charge and it doesn't really charge up for them. So I should just be able to use the Phillips head screwdriver to get in there. Don't know how many screws will need to come out to be able to get here, but under this arm there's another four screws. I guess we'll just find out along the way. Stubborn screw. Ah, oh, there we go. Turns out these cover up some buttons as well. Oh, different. These ones are slightly smaller screws in here. I switched to my smaller screwdriver. This is it's also magnetic. And that's making zero difference with these screws. And I'm hoping this cover bit here will come off. Like so. And then reveal the battery right here. These screws here look to be for the display. So I'm going to assume that this back bit will come up now. I have to use a little bit of caution. There we go. Fold it up. Slide this out. There we go. Push that out. One screen removed. Yeah, where's the charging port on this one? We have a USB connection. We have a slightly damaged bit, so I'd say it's had a drop. HDMI is looking pretty grimy. Looks like the charging is on this side over here. Up, pull that out. Another screw over here. This seems to control the charging aspect of things. Now, I'm just going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to simply unsolder these ones rather than try to unscrew it. I can't be bothered trying to deal with the mechanism. It would be swifter for me just to do this. Here, see the fairly corroded looking charger. I wonder if it's this grime on the pins that's stopping it. We'll give that, that pin a bit of a touch up. Especially looking at the other ports on here. It surprised me that it's this grime on here. It does have a little bit of movement. I feel, like I feel like it's going to fall out or pull out. And let's just touch up some solder points on here. And the earths on it. And see if that makes it a little bit happier. Bring on my high quality thermal paste. Or my, not my thermal paste. Flux. There we go. Dump some in there. Right, let's get some more solder into this. Turn it to a way that I can see it. Top out over here. Sorry, 
if I'm getting in the way of that. Hasn't really affected her, the strength of the pin. So I'm also inclined to think that it may very well be the actual charging cable itself with grime on the inside of there. So sadly, I don't have anything small enough to go in there. Even sim the pin eject tool barely even goes in there. So now I'm going to give this a clean with alcohol, a blast with the air compressor, and see how we go from there. This bunny doesn't even look like it's on straight. A little switch. Uh, testing out reasonably fine for me now. back into their positions. The next biggest challenge here will be reattaching the screen and just lining up where everyone's meant to go. First. Battery out of the way. So getting the battery back on there, or well, this in the right position is going to be a bit tricky. Or at least getting it on camera is going to be making it tricky. I feel like it's quite correct. It's connected a little joke. There we go. I think that looks better. Goal of trying to get the battery back in there. Under. Back in. Maybe. Okay. Now I'm just trying to power it back on. One of these two sides is power. More accurately. Plug in the power cable. Power cable plugged in. Red light, wiggling it. Still red, still red. Press and hold on this side. I have a picture. Great, am I magnifying? So that screen's connected. Disconnect the power. And now I'll be happy to proceed from here. 
Where my battery cable is meant to go. I've got bits around here. So like there. Let's get over the top. One screw. Two screw. Three screw. No, it didn't quite click it into position there. Oh, no. No. You go down this way. There we go. Two, three, four. There we go. Stand back on top of it. Button still click. Great. So hopefully simply that reflowing of the um, the jack, the power jack, has solved this. Potentially the clean of alcohol may have also helped it as it was quite tarnished. Oh. Click it back together. Click, crunch, crunch, crunch. That's a bit dodgy, I'd say it suffered a drop somewhere along the line. But we are working once more. Hope that helps you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.